Hi, um, this is just a little update because um, I doubt that my camera is going to work because it's not taking the charge um, that I'm putting into it. I think there's something wrong with the battery. <coughs> um, I'm still kind of ill, but I feel a lot better than I did Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, which is good. Um, I like a really, oh, it's such a good shower just now. Um, I didn't. I had a shower like halfway through the week, and it was so rubbish because the the shower that we have here is literally like strips on you. It's got no power at all, so like you're standing there freezing cold because the draft's coming through. Um, <clears throat> because I was ill, I didn't really want to get sick, so I quickly had a wash, and then quickly washed my hair, and then that was okay. But I just had now had like a deep, deep cleanse, and that was good. Um, uh, my hair is currently in like a bun thing, just to keep out of the way. Um, I'm really annoyed that I didn't, um, section my hair properly. I've got like a kind of parting here that zig zigzags, and then this is kind of like, it's just a mess. Um, so I'm thinking about taking them out sometime, the top half anyway and redoing it, but it's a lot of effort, um, and they're still in the fluffy stage, I don't know why, I don't do anything to them, I don't palm roll them, I don't, I don't crochet them, I just leave it be, um, it's coming up to two weeks now, so I'm not really that bothered, but it's just annoying that I have like a little fluffy head on top, um, yeah, so I'm going to dinner with Jenny, and that's going to be fun, um, and my mate Charlotte as well. Uh, we're gonna get, yeah, we're gonna get coffee somewhere. Um, hopefully, I don't get any more ill. I think it seems like a nice day outside. You can never tell in England. It looks sunny, but it's minus twelve and you freeze. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing a quick update about my life. I've been ill, um, and in bed all day, every day for the past week, basically. Um, watching in Bruges, and yeah, just generally feeling sorry for myself and um, topping myself up with uh, paracetamol. I haven't got sick from, oh my gosh, I got sushi yesterday from Yo Sushi, which is like a chain of sushi bars, the actual like ones that have the little conveyor belt. I got some sushi from there, and it was so good. And usually I get ill after, but like I love sushi so much I don't really care. Like I don't really mind that I get an upstuck stomach. I haven't got one, which is brilliant. Maybe I've suddenly, um, <clears throat> I've suddenly got immune to it or something. So that's good. Um, I'm going home next week for reading week, and that's gonna be cool. Um, I'll probably take my camera out when we go out to pubs and clubs and stuff. So you can see Norwich, the High Life, which is Norwich. It's not that great. It's just full of chavs and skimpy, closed women. Like old women. It's pretty bad. Um, I can't wait to go home. There's a lot of people and a lot of um, things happening in Norfolk right now, which I'm missing. Um, I cannot wait to go back. There's a lot of stuff I can't wait for, to go back for. I uh, can't wait to see my friends and hang out with them. Um, I've been leaning on them quite a lot recently with um, troubles in my life. So it'll be fun to actually like see them instead of just Skype them. Um, yeah. And that's about it. Um, I would say, um, as a rule, because lots of relationships that I know at uni right now are coming to a close because I'm at my third year, I'm in my final year at uni, um, or college if you're American, um, I would suggest that before you get into a relationship with someone, you um, find out where they live and make it so they're less than 100 miles from you, from your hometown, because um, a lot of people are breaking up right now and it's mainly to do with um, the distance that they have when they're not at uni. 
it's fine when you're at uni because you're in the same place but once uni ends um, and you don't decide to stay in that area it's going to be very hard um, especially living with someone um, that you go out with <coughs> to suddenly not see them for months at a time it's going to be very hard there's a lot of people going through that situation right now um, including myself so there's a lot of um, a lot of thinking to be done if you're in that situation um, and it just depends how strong the relationship I guess is and how strong you are in terms of trust or like you know being able to handle long distance and not see them for ages um, but every relationship is different but it seems that all the relationships that I know are kind of teetering on the edge of falling into the abyss and exploding so <laughs> um, <clears throat> that's about it for my um, little update I'm going to try and charge my camera but if it doesn't then I don't know what I'm going to do I'm going to have to send it away to I think it's the battery though because my last camera that I had that had a dodgy battery in it and so I had to get a new one that was fine so I might just have to do that find a cheap um, battery for it. Um, I have put some more beads in my dreads, um, but you can't really tell because my hair is up. But they're all like in different places. I don't know if you could see that. Hopefully, you can see that. Um, and that's made it a lot easier because my hair is very much still like, especially in the morning, I wake up and I'm like, I hate my dreads but then I style them and it's fine um, I would suggest putting beads in they're only like light wooden beads um, but they're really good for like holding down the stray hairs it's very it's very good to give it some weight um, especially if you can't wait for it to mature if you're having trouble like waiting for them to feel like mature dreads weighing them down is it helps it because it gives it that way it gives it that kind of look that mature dreads have um so i suggest that i got mine from like a random necklace that i've had for ages i just cut them off put them in my hair and yeah it's worked wonders already um i've got a little elephant where is that is it this? I think it's this side. Wait. Here he is. I've got a little elephant. An elephant charm. He's my good luck charm because I had him in um, when I had the under layers of dreads in. I put them. I put him in my hair, and um, I had good luck all day. But then I lost him at the end of the night, and then I found him. Um, downstairs in my dog's basket so it's good luck the fact that my dog found it and kept it safe and put it in the basket and it's good luck that he didn't swallow it because that would have been bad um, <clears throat> so I've put it in my hair again um, I'm not gonna do the threading thing you know people with dreads have like the thread and the wool like wrapped around like candy cane style I'm not going to do that yet because my dreads are so thin it'll just look really rubbish. Um, I'll wait until they thicken up a bit. <coughs> um, yeah, still a lot of stick from people, which is understandable because that's the natural reaction for something that you're not used to. Um, it's okay. A lot of people think that these are for life <laughs> and that I'm going to have to cut my hair off and I don't wash, those are the three things that people are like complaining about which I don't know why they're complaining because it's not their hair and I don't really see the people that complain that much anyway in real life but um, I'm not going to have them in forever the plan was to keep them in as a tester and keep them in through the cold months because that's when my hair's the most rubbish, it's the most shit it's because it's so dry and it's so damaged I was going to keep them in for the cold months and take them out like spring summer time um, but that's, that's the plan 
Um, I take I might take them out sooner depending on if I get a job or not. A lot of people are saying like um, a lot of people are saying, oh, you're not going to get a job because you've got dreads, and I'm very aware of how hard it is to get a job, especially in this country where dreads aren't that um, wide known, or you know, not many people have dreads in this country. I understand that. I've done so much research. I've it's not like I just did them. I have no idea what to do. I've looked at every YouTube video. I've done so much research. You're saying all this stuff to me. And I already know. Um, I know it's going to be hard to find a job. But I'm not looking for a job right now. And I'm not going to be looking for a job for the next five months. Because I've got uni. So people need to relax. Okay? Stop worrying about me. I know it's not worry. I'm... I guess it's them trying to be like, you need to worry about this, but I'm not worrying. It's my hair, it's my life, and <sighs> it wasn't annoying me at first, because I was expecting for the first couple of days people that I know to, you know, have to adjust to it, but it's been two weeks now, and they're still coming up to me, or still like messaging me and all this stuff. Um, but you just need to relax <laughs> it's just hair and it's not like I've shaved it off it's not like I've permanently coloured it green or given myself a mohawk it's nothing like that um, so just relax um, and that's about it that's all I have to really say just to get that off my chest I guess I feel a lot better now. Um, yeah, it just it doesn't really get to me, and it gets to a certain point where uh, it takes a couple of people to say the same sort of things um, to really get to me. Um, but I feel a lot better. I just need to rant for like two seconds, and then I'm okay about it. Um, but you shouldn't have to worry about what people think. If you're thinking about getting dreads, or you have dreads, and you're in the same position as me, I'm not going to change them, I'm not going to take them out because people are like, I don't like them. You shouldn't have to do that. If you're comfortable with having dreads, which I am, I love them, you shouldn't have to change for anyone. You're your own person, and it makes you completely individual, it can, it's just, you're not doing any harm to anyone. So just remember that, and... Yeah, screw everyone else. Um, I hope you have a good day. <laughs> um, sorry, this kind of turned into a bitchy video, but I'm so ill. I'm just so grumpy today. Maybe I shouldn't go out. No, I should. I should. I should get some fresh air. Um, so have a good day. Um, I hope everyone is doing fine. If you have any uh, messages for me, um, that's cool. If you have any questions I'm happy to answer them and have a good have a good day. Alright, bye.